Petrus Mutsebe has always been saying he wants to develop African mm. football. Mm. He no longer wants African players to go play the trade overseas. overseas but now yeah. he wants overseas based um, players to, to come, come to, to Africa. Hello and welcome to the Deski Preview Show. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in to this week's episode. Uh, my name is yours truly, Mr. A. I'm not alone in the studio. I have uh, Mr. Spot On, or Mr. Ever Reliable Sports Analyst, uh, and a former footballer. You name it, he's done it all. Uh, his name is Otisha. Otisha Wetiski. Tisha Wetiski, welcome to the show. Sir. Thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. E. Uh, taking nothing away from you. It's such a, a, an honor or a privilege sitting next to you, such an experienced uh, bookmaker and a sports analyst. Analyzing sport is our business and our everyday food. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the journey for Bafana Bafana. It's all happening in Ivory Coast. Uh, they are into the semifinal, uh, semifinals after dispatching uh, Cape Verde. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, stay tuned uh, as we bring you more. And don't forget to press the like button. But most importantly, don't forget to leave your comment and subscribe. As promised, that uh, today we are bringing you a big match uh, featuring uh, Nigeria, who is going to be uh, the home team. Uh, they'll be playing against uh, Bafana Bafana in Ivory Coast. It's the semi-finals of the Afcon. Tisha Wetiske, what a big game we have on our hands. A final before a final, Mr. E. Mm, mm. Very, very, very big game. I think this is the biggest uh, game you'll find in this Afcon uh, edition. Yeah, quite interestingly, uh, quite interesting. Rather, it's the uh, the contrast of uh, both teams. Tisha Wetiske, I'm looking at a Nigerian team uh, uh, which is uh, made up of, uh, you, you would think it's a selection of uh, AC Milan, uh, Bayern Munich and, and Napoli and then they are going ahead uh, head on uh, against uh, uh, Abafana Vestal, Mamelo de Sundowns. First 10 or 9. <laughs> uh, Mr. E, let's look at the bigger picture. Yeah. They're going against South Africa. Yes. Okay, the Mamelo de Sundowns. Yeah. They're going against Bafana Bafana yeah. which is uh, uh, South Africa. Mm. Now you mentioned earlier on you, you're talking about the players from Nigeria mm. who are playing the trade in, in your Italy, yeah, uh, your e e in EPL. Spain, man. Now they're coming against uh, Bafana Bafana, yeah. where most players are playing the trades in, yeah. in South Africa, in the yeah. PSL. So it's more of um, an African team playing an overseas team. Mm. Yeah, most certainly uh, Tisha Wetiski. And I, I can assure you and I can uh, confirm that Nigeria is expensively assembled at 349 million euros, Tisha Wetiski. I don't know how, what what can you buy with that type of money. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy a lot, Mr. You can buy a lot, Mr. Yeah. As uh, opposed to uh, Bafana Bafana, mm. who's, uh, I think their value is around 18 18 million. million euros. Yo. So look Maybe at it's the because difference. they play uh, in, in the local leagues and uh, obviously they have, they have value one match uh, their counterparts, uh, the counterparts in, in Europe. Yes, I mean, if you're looking uh, at value, Mr. Iba, Fana Bafana wouldn't be where they are. Mm. You, you have uh, uh, teams, teams like Senegal mm. are also worth in that 100 uh, mark uh, yeah. in, in euros. Yeah. But they're out of the tournament. You yeah. have Morocco. Morocco is also valued yeah. at around about Ghana. 3 and 49. Yeah. They're out. Yeah. Now here comes Bafana Bafana. What valued at 80 <laughs> million but playing in the semi final. Yeah. How did they get here? Hmm. It's the heart, Mr. E. They are Being playing. a former footballer, yeah. uh, a football player. Yeah. It's the heart, Mr. E. The it's heart. The heart. The de determination wins yeah. the game, not yeah. your value. That's how Tisha Wetiski, there for you, is saying uh, there is so much hunger for Bafana Bafana as they go head to head with the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Now, let's quickly take a look at uh, uh, the two teams uh, in terms of players, Tisha Wetiski, maybe starting off uh, with uh, the big guy uh, uh, for, 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 for Nigeria. Yeah, that's uh, Victor uh, who plays for Napoli. Uh, wh what do you think is going to be his contribution? Because he's going to be um, trying, he's going to try his best to to, to go past the uh, Rowan Williams. Look, uh, Victor coming to this uh, uh, tournament, he is one of or the most uh, valuable uh, player in the Afcon. We know um, top goal scorer for um, Napoli mm. last season there in Italy. Mm. He's forever doing so well. Mm. But when it comes to the game, Mister mm. E. Afcon, it's a whole uh, different ball game. Mm. That same Victor who's playing his trade overseas, he's going to be marked or closely mm. marked by a Mamelodi Sundowns player. Yeah. Kuliso so, Mudao. Uh, so we're going to see a very big battle between uh, Mudao and uh, o o o Victor. Ne? <laughs> Mr. E, I, I'm always <laughs> praising these local boys. Yeah. Kuliso Mudao is going to put, he's going to bottle yeah. 
Oh, Victor. Or put him uh, in his pocket, the behind the the, the, the back pocket. Mr. E, <laughs> it will be luck if Victor finishes the game tomorrow. Yeah. By half time already, the coach mm. will be thinking, of course, you will do nothing on the field. Yeah. Victor won't give him a, a chance. A chance. You also at all. have that young man uh, who plays for um, Atlanta, yeah. uh, Lookman. Lookman. He's also, yeah. we know how quick. Very, very these boys dangerous. Are. Yes. But also, again, you yeah. have your likes of uh, Umudiba, yeah. let the back, the Sundance player. He also takes no nonsense. He's a no nonsense uh, a defender. I believe he's, he's going to be capable. Of mm. doing the job, so it looks like uh, the defense of Afana Bafana is going to be working overtime to show it this game. Those are uh, the names that you have just mentioned, uh, and those, the way those guys play. Who I don't know, man. They, they will be working overtime, <laughs> but they get paid to do that. Mr. Yeah, no, definitely do that. Yeah, when uh, 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 Petrus Mutsebe has always been saying uh, he wants to develop African mm. football. Mm. He no longer wants African players to go play the trade overseas. Overseas, but now yeah. he wants overseas. Best um, players to, to come, come to to Africa, and we also now, retain our, our, now, our players e, in Africa. Now, Mr. E, yeah. Sundowns has the opportunity, or Bafana Bafana mm. has the opportunity to display exactly mm. that. That mm. yes, African players mm. or players who play in Africa mm. can be players who play overseas. More certainly, Tisha Wetiski. Now, let's quickly take a look at uh, their head to head encounters. Uh, uh, I'm sure, I think, according to the statistics, uh, Bafana Bafana has only beaten uh, Nigeria only twice. Uh, Yes, uh, true, Mr. E. But if, if you look at the both um, these two teams, um, whenever they meet, Mr. E, it's, it's been a while. I think the last time they met was in uh, 2019. 20, 2017. Tw- no, it was 2019. 2019, where yeah. I remember it was the AFCON, oh, okay. where uh, Nigeria went over oh, to win that by game two by one. two, yeah, two goals um, to one. Yeah. Before then, there have been a couple of draws. Yeah. But if we look at the last five games yeah. that both these teams have played, five games, Mr. E, Bafana Bafana has won a game. Yeah. Nigeria has won a game. Yeah. And there's been three draws. Yeah. Those stats alone tell yeah. you that we're expecting a very difficult game. If yeah. you look at your, your search engines and yeah. you look at stats, yeah. stats highly favor yeah. Nigeria. Yes. But Mr. E, I said <laughs> earlier on, being a former player, it's the mm. heart. It's the heart. It's the determination that's yeah. going to win you the game. Yeah. Bafana Bafana, players, have all that, yeah. Mr. E. You have your experience. Tebukho Mukwena, he's mm. been in this kind of uh, 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 scenario Since, before. Yeah. You have experience, Uzwani. He's been in a situation like this before. Mm. But most importantly, Ronan Williams, mm. after that magnificent game he had, yeah. Against uh, th- th- those saves yeah. against Kev Verdon. Yeah. He's motivated. He's yeah. captain also. He's going to come into this game mm. leading by example. Mm. I see good things happening for Bafana Bafana, Mr. E. Yeah. And then uh, Nigeria, on the other hand, uh, uh, Tisha Wetiski, they, they are not invincible at all because uh, I've taken a look at uh, the, their journey to the semi finals. I think uh, they've uh, they won uh, they, they, they won three games or so by one goal to nil. Uh, only one game they were. Um, I think they were playing small teams like uh, uh, Angola. They won one nil and then give me Pisao. So it actually means that uh, Bafana Bafana can actually beat them. Take that back, Mr. E. Yeah. No more small teams. <laughs> no more underdogs. Yeah. Mr. E. Th- th- this has been a-, a different or a unique upcon, Mr. Yeah. E. Underdogs or so-called underdogs yeah. have actually done well. Your big nations, your top five, they're all out, Mr. E. Yeah. So uh, anything can happen to this game. What makes this game even more interesting, Mr. Yeah. E., if we're talking about head-to-head uh, uh, not so long ago? Yeah. 1996, when Bafana Bafana mm. actually won the Afcon, yeah. Nigeria was actually supposed to be uh, defending uh, uh, yeah. the Afcon because they won it in 1994. Yeah. They didn't play, yeah. Mr. In. Yeah. There's always been this talks within, if Nigeria had played, had played in the 1996, they would have won it. it. Yeah. So Bafana Bafana yeah. must show them yeah. that they actually deserved to mm. win in 1996. Yeah. And now they're playing. Bafana Bafana must yeah. actually uh, uh, beat them. Yeah, and it's quite an opportunity for Bafana Bafana because uh, they've only won, uh, won it once. Uh, so this time around, if they're going to win uh, uh, the finals, that means uh, they would have uh, two championships. Uh, while uh, Nigeria, they've done it three times. They've won it three times, Tisha Wetiski. And 15 times they've been to the semifinal. A record 15 times, Tisha Wetiski. It shows that uh, they are uh, quite a big giant on the African continent. Most definitely. Taking nothing away from uh, Nigeria, Mr. E. They've been doing so well uh, in the past. Mm. But now... Now, let's take a look at Bafana Bafana. Remember, before the World Cup, we were speaking about Morocco. Yeah. And I said, I also remember, in the same studio, we were talking about how weighted a team from Morocco mm. won the Champions League. Yeah. We were talking about how weighted women, how they won the Champions League. Yeah. With those teams winning uh, uh, the African Championships, that uh, uh, led to the success of Morocco of the doing nation- so well in the team. W- w- in the World in Cup, the World Cup yeah. same thing is happening now to South Africa. Yeah, 
We have Mamelodi Sundowns yeah. who've won the uh, African uh, Football League. Mm. We have Mamelodi Sundowns, the ladies again, yeah. who won uh, the, the, the Champions League. Yeah. What happens now? Bafana yeah. Bafana is consisting of those players yeah. from Mamelodi Sundowns. So you 80, see where it's going, to see where it's going with this squad. development. Yeah. Now Bafana Bafana, just like Morocco now, must do well. Morocco. Yeah. We knocks out in the semi-finals. Yeah. That's the World Cup. Yeah. South Africa is playing the semi-finals. Yeah. Surely they want to go to the finals. Yeah. Surely they want to go to the finals. Don't jinx it, Tisha Wojcicki. You say it, uh, uh, Morocco were knocked out uh, in the semi-finals and Bafana Bafana are going to be playing in the semi-finals. Did I hear you clearly? You heard me clearly. <laughs> By now, this, the difference is yeah. there was the World Cup okay. with Morocco. So this time around, they'll be able to match your on. Brazil. Yeah. Bafana Bafana now. This is Af- remember, uh, uh, AFCON is just under. It's, it's, it's smaller yeah. than the, 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 World, the Cup. World Cup. Yes. It's actually a pre-World yeah. Cup. Yeah. So Bafana Bafana should actually win the AFCON yeah. if they want to do so well in the, in the World Cup. This is the time, Mr. Yeah. E. This is the stage, Mr. Yeah. E. I have a good feeling, but Fana Fana is going to do so well, Mr. E. Yeah. And I'll be hearing people saying, ah, it's fluke, it's luck. It's yeah. not luck, Mr. E. Mm. This is properly developed, Mr. Yeah. E. It's been step by step, step It's by been step. coming on Look and on. It's been coming, Mr. E. It's been coming. Those are the sentiments of Futisha Wetiske. He's uh, having so much uh, hope and trust uh, and belief in Bafana Bafana in qu- that uh, they will be able to uh, uh, match uh, over to the uh, f- uh, finals uh, and uh, now, Tisha Wetiski, let's get into the thick of things. Now, we just uh, want to hear your uh, predictions. Uh, we will be playing uh, uh, this game, uh, and uh, we want to uh, lay our bets. Uh, Tisha Wetiski, it's going to be Nigeria playing against uh, South Africa. What are your predictions? Mr. E, it's going to be a high-flying game. Quick game. I see a lot of goals, Mr. E. My prediction is over 2.5. Over 2.5? 2.5 goals, Mr. E. We're going to see a score galo when Nigeria plays against uh, Bafana Bafana and Utisha Wetiski. He's saying uh, it's going to be over 2.5. Uh, the other game uh, that will be uh, played in the semi final in Ivory Coast uh, will be featuring uh, Ivory Coast uh, versus uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. I would like to thank you very much for tuning in to this special episode of the day of the Disky Preview Show. Are you in agreement with Tisha Wetiski's uh, predictions? Uh, let's see that on your comment section. Uh, my name is yours truly, Mr. E. And I'm yours truly. Ooh, Tisha. Ooh, Tisha with this key. Don't forget to press the like button, but most importantly, don't forget to leave us your comments and subscribe.